Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I've got a new eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. Sephora had their one time only sale of 20% off, so I got a couple of items. I got the Dior Show Five Couleur palette and this is in denim. I haven't opened it yet. I just felt like a blue look and I don't have a lot of blue in my collection. I looked at this and it looked like a nice classy blue. So let me open it up for you. Oh. I'm so excited. And during the sale, I got the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. And I have had my eye on this forever since it came out. I love Makeup Forever and I know I'm gonna like this. So is that about it? I think so. I think I'm gonna keep it simple today. So I am gonna do my makeup with you, but the rest of the products I'm using aren't new. I am really loving this though. So my skin has really felt dehydrated lately and I've been searching through all the products that I own looking for something that's gonna give it that bigger drink of water. And this is working. This is the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydration Serum. I used it when they first sent it to me and I forgot to use it after that. I don't know why, but I put it on today and oh my gosh, it felt so good and it felt good for a long time. I didn't feel like a half an hour later that I needed to apply more. I don't know, there's something about this serum that's a little bit more dense than my other serums. That's the thing about skincare is it changes. Like each day could change. One day I could have drank enough water. One day, probably today, I'm not drinking enough water. So this is what feels good for me today. I'm just gonna follow it up with my Emberlease. Got a lot of French happening today. La Creme Concentrate. I'm gonna do my eyes first today. When I use a blue eyeshadow, if it drops down on my cheek, it will look like I have a black eye. I think it's just easier today if I do my eyes first. I wish I could get in the habit of doing that all the time, to be honest, because it makes sense. But for me, I like to see my skin nice and clean and clear, and then I can get more creative with my eye makeup. I had a question today from a viewer. She was telling me that she has a hard time with her concealer creasing. And I just wanna say, creasing under here, especially as we get older, is pretty common. We have, like I have a lot, I have a lot going on there. I don't know if you can see. Actually, I'm gonna zoom you in. So when I smile, you can see I've got a lot of lines happening there. I'm 52, right? So of course I'm gonna have a lot of lines there. It's near impossible. Unless I was very stoic and didn't have a lot of expression, which that's no fun, it's gonna move. You know, my lipstick moves because I talk and I move my lips a lot and I smile. I have to replenish that. I have to touch my lipstick up. And it's the same with your concealer. It's not something that you can expect to last all day. So a couple of tips. One is when you freshly wash your face or when you freshly have your shower, moisturize and then let it sit. Do your hair, maybe do your eye makeup, have a coffee, answer some emails and really let your skincare sit. If you put a concealer on directly over top of your moisturizer that you've placed underneath your eye, remember that's gonna mix with the formula of the concealer because it's pretty fresh and it's gonna change the structure of the concealer. And your concealer's meant to go on skin, on primed skin, but on skin. And priming to me means skin prep. It doesn't necessarily mean a primer. I don't necessarily believe that you need a primer in your makeup routine. It just depends on your taste and I don't really use one that often. If I were to put concealer on very dry skin, it's gonna look very different compared to if I put it on hydrated skin. But it's also gonna look very different if I put a rich cream on there and directly put concealer. It's gonna mix and it's gonna change it. It's gonna make the concealer slip. And the other tip is don't use too much. If you have too much product of anything, it's gonna slip. So thin layers, setting it with powder, the correct powder. It all depends on the concealer that you use and what you prep your skin with. And don't expect miracles. You know, it's just an area that we're gonna have to touch up. That being said, let's start with this beautiful eye makeup. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna start off with MAC Painterly this time. And it doesn't really matter what you start with. Usually I use Soft Ochre. It has more of a yellow tone. This one has more of a neutral kind of pinky tone. The reason I'm using this one today is because I'm using the blues. And to me, it just makes sense putting that on all over. And I put it on right from underneath my brow, right into the corner and extending it out. Now, if you have a hard time with eyeshadow staying underneath, you could actually put 
just a little bit under here as well. I don't normally, but you could. And I'm gonna do it on the other side just because I did it on that one. And that's gonna clear that area up. I'm gonna look at the Dior website and get some inspiration. There's one. So they have the gold on the inside. That's very typical of what I normally do. I'd like to do something a little bit different. There's another idea. That's pretty. All right, let's just go for it. I'm gonna swatch this one first, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. I shouldn't have put it on my very bony hands. This one is showing a bit more green, I think. This one's the blue. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, All right, let me show you the gold. And that's the gold. It's more muted than I thought it would be, actually. I think I'm gonna build it up from light to dark. So I'm gonna take this one right here with an A502. Make sure it's all... And I'm gonna start on the inner third-ish. Are they all shimmers? I don't know why I pictured that to be lighter. I'm gonna use a different brush. I wanna go into this color right here. And I'm gonna, okay. That's really more the color I was looking for. So that's pretty. It's kind of more of the idea I had in mind. Right, and I am getting fallout. I hope you can see that. So it's a good thing that I decided to do my concealer and my foundation last. That's going on really smooth. I wouldn't say that this one went on that smooth. I'm going to pull it up towards this outer corner here to give it that lift. And drag it in. I really like that color. I don't know how I feel about this one. I really wish I had used that color first. I'm gonna take it in here as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of Missler water on a Q-tip and I'm gonna remove some right here just so that I can really see that gold if it shows up, hopefully. Let me clean that up. This again is one of those trust the process looks. I wish this wasn't so shiny in here. I'm gonna remove that. I don't know why, but it looks a bit heavy here. I wear shimmer in here all the time, but I really feel like that accentuated the texture. And it might be just how I prepped it, we'll see. Yeah, I wanna start that again. Hmm, it's not going as smooth as I'd hoped. All right, so I'm not re-dipping. This is the same brush that I used for the color that I really liked. And I'm gonna drag it back in again. Do you remember Donna Summers? Was it from, I don't, was she from Dallas? She had big blue eyes and she used to wear the blue eyeshadow. I used to love her makeup. This reminds me of her. I think it was Donna Summers. I have to look now. Donna Mills. Oh my goodness. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah, she was in Knott's Landing. Silly. Donna Summer. It's a bad picture. <laughs> it's a good picture of her, but not a good picture of the makeup that I used to love on her. Anyway, she had beautiful eyes, and that's what I'm going for. Let me go in with this color right here. I'm a little surprised 
that that's very muted like that. I was hoping for more, but maybe that's why it's gonna look pretty and not funky and you know, maybe that's the subtlety. And I do find that with Dior eyeshadows, they're very workable and wearable. Even in these kind of colors, they're very elegant. So that's what I would say with this, is it's more of an elegant look. I'm gonna take this all the way in, I think. Ooh, do I wanna use this? That's quite green. No, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Why not? keep my brushes straight here. So I've got the one color, the one color. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 205. Definitely wanna deepen it up. Oh no, that's really pretty. Good. This brush is really nice because it does have that angle. This is getting there. I'm gonna take this little brush. This is a Refer 23 brush. And I'm gonna go into this dark color right here. And I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same color underneath, nice and close to the lower lash line. I can always drag this down a little bit thicker if I want to. I'm happy with, I was a little nervous at first. Hot flashing. That kind of defeated the purpose because now that I wash that off, I want to rehydrate. So I'm just going to use my serum. I'm not going to go back in with my moisturizer. Serum is lighter, so it's going to soak in a little bit faster. It's going to give my under eyes a slip, but it's not going to be so creamy that everything's going to slide everywhere. Because this is a dramatic look and this is outside the box, I've decided to go with more of a medium full coverage. This is the Dior Skin Glow. Might as well stick with Dior. And I'm just gonna do a nice thin layer first. Oh my God, I forgot my Makeup Forever palette. It's 10.30 at night, shoot. Well, I'll have to save this for another video. Darn. Oh well, that's okay, that's okay. It's an eye look video. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, darn it. Now what concealer am I gonna use? I think I'm going to use Bobbi Brown. This is a Skin Full Cover Concealer. Just a little bit right there. The darkness I have is right in here. It's not really under here as much as it is here and a little bit on the outer corner. And I will make sure to lighten this area too, right there. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna tap over. But there's not a lot left on my brush. It just makes sure that you don't see a stop and a start. And it also makes sure that you don't have a ton of product sitting there, because that's where all my creases are. I'm actually gonna set that right now. I'm gonna use my Easy Bake and Snatch. This is by Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna set that right away so that it doesn't move. If I were to wear this blue eyeshadow without concealing the darkness around my eyes, your eye wouldn't know where to look, you know? It would look so messy. So it's important that when you wear colorful eye makeup that you clear everything out. Make it brighter, color correct if you have to, but make sure there's no distractions dragging your eye down. It's like looking at a piece of art. If there's too much happening, the eye doesn't know where to go and it looks busy. With this eye look, I'd like a great looking mascara, like drama. I'm gonna use MAC Stack Waterproof. I really want the curl to stay. I'm 
Yeah, whoa, what a difference. All right, now for the brows. I like the Patrick Ta brow lamination so much, I bought the full size. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've just never really cared that much about my brows, to be honest, as long as they were filled properly, I didn't mind. But I'm liking this look. Bit of goof proof. I feel like it helps my powder stick as well, which would make sense. I mean, it's sticky. I'm really noticing this brow dropping. I'm tempted to shave this so I can cheat it up a little bit, but I have that leftover microblading. I wish I'd never done that. I know the cosmetic clinic where I normally go to, they have the Pico Sure, which could remove it, and I'm tempted. I just want to start fresh with my own skin, and it won't remove the hair like a laser would. Then I could draw my eyebrow in wherever I want it. I could give myself a brow lift. Like, I honestly want to try it right now. If I could lift it up like that, you're gonna witness something probably not that smart. I do, I just want that off because it's pulling my eye down. What did she do at mm, 1051 at night? Yeah, just rip her eyebrows out. Yeah, I feel like lately I've been feeling kind of like I have a Spock eye here and it's because my arch is here and this is starting to drop. So this makes it look more pointy, but I think I just softened it up just by removing the hair and drawing up a little bit higher. Let me conceal. I think I want a little bit of a lighter concealer than the Bobbi Brown that I used. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible. It's sitting right in front of me. What do you think? I know I have a little tweaking to do, but I really do feel better. I have two different shades here. So I have the Bobbi Brown and the L'Oreal Infallible. I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown one now and I'm gonna take it up here just to clean this up a little bit. This is a lot for me. I don't normally do this. I'm just playing. But that eyebrow has been bugging me for a while. So I feel like I can make that look a bit more natural by using a pencil. Do I feel like doing that right now? Probably not. And I could probably do the same thing on that side. Does it look funny? Am I cheating it up too much? All of this is not planned, except for the blue eyeshadow. It is starting to look a little bit solid, so I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna perfect these brows. Probably not tonight though. Yeah, I feel like I could get these more realistic looking. Because I did that, my blue is missing just a bit, so I'm gonna take whatever was left on my brush and bring it up a touch. Now it's like an addiction. I do, I want this one up higher too now. Let's clean this up. This eye may be Hmm, that might be tough. You see that silly leftover microblading. Does that ever look red? It's like I irritated it and I hardly touched it. A little bit of concealer. There's a few odd hairs here. This is a Smashbox brush, by the way. Again, years and years old. There's a hair right there that I want gone. I hope I'm not sorry in the morning. I'm gonna use a Sephora pencil. This is called Coconut. I 
Oh, I really have to finish up. My son's out there and my dog's going crazy. I want to try this lip color. I picked this up from the drugstore today. This is the Revlon Color Stay Suede Ink, and this is in the color That Girl. This is 280s. <laughs> I thought that was going to be more nude. I'm not even going to take that off. I'm going to use Makeup by Mario. I think this is Kevin. No, this is Hugh, because I just want to get out there and visit with my son. I'm just going to go over this. This is a Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. I'm cheating. I'm not using bronzer. I don't think I need it. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to use Tower 28 Beach Please Office Hours. And I always tap it on the back of my hand first. It's gonna be hard to film over the holidays because I just wanna spend all my time with my family, which starts now. I know Lexi's coming, she doesn't know I know she's coming, but Dave had to tell me because I was gonna send her money and he's like, don't, I already did. I want you to take a good look at my concealer. I used a serum, I used my Bobbi Brown concealer, and I set it with a little bit of powder, very little. And so far, that's what it looks like. Now, if I were to pull down and really take a look, yeah, there's some creasing there. I have creases, okay? I can tap that out. But who the heck is walking around pulling their skin down? Nobody's pulling their skin down. If you look at me straight on or up and down, like, I don't know, maybe I'll look at this video and when I look up, you'll be able to see them and I'll feel like a fool, but generally, nobody's going to be noticing that. You would have to be looking in a 10 times mirror and really go and look at the creasing and nobody's doing that. So relax, don't worry about it. Don't use too much. Don't use too much moisturizer. Prep well, powder a little bit and you'll be good to go. Okay, now I can put my sweater back on. Everything came together when I perfected the skin, I added some color. The black mascara makes a huge difference when you're using a blue eyeshadow. Definitely cleaning up with the concealer. I have a hair in my mouth and uh, yeah, I feel good. I would go out like this for sure. All the products that I use today are going to be listed in the description box. When you use my links, it will provide me with a small commission. It helps me out so much. And what it actually does is it allows me to buy more makeup and bring you all the news and all the reviews. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> um, it really helps me build my channel, so I appreciate it so much. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, share with all your friends, comment below, that helps me out a lot, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.